Welcome back to Throwback Thursday. It is Thursday, as you might have expected, and we're in uh, Nax Ramas again, opening up the next chapter. And this is Uncharted Territory. This one uh, is actually new stuff that JJ hasn't played so far, which means we're getting card rewards, which is good. And we also don't know what's going to come up here. So first one, we have Abomination right away. Good stuff. You know him from, uh, from Battlegrounds. You've seen him occasionally. He's got a four mana hero power. Destroy a minion. That's a pretty good card. Yeah. Or a bit, pretty good effect there. Uh, doesn't start with 10 extra health, unfortunately. We've built a deck for this purpose today. It's um, it's a Rexar Hunter. It's a Hunter with 29 cards and Deathstalker Rexar. It's a mid-range Hunter. It, which, it's very simple. That, that used to be the meta for the better part of a year. So we're playing it. Because it's historically relevant and this is Throwback Thursday. Let's get it. His Deathstalker Rexar, potentially the, the highest impact card of all time in Hearthstone. It was crazy. When, well, whenever yeah. it was around. It's it, the Build of Beast Hero Power is very iconic, and oh, we're doing Wild Build of Beast too. Don't we're forget wild, that we're doing Wild Build of Beast. Yeah, crazy stuff can arise. Exactly, because uh, the thing, the way that Build of Beast works is you have the entire pool of yeah. beasts available, more or less. Which made Rexar a better the longer stayed in standard, also. By the way. Um, he does not appear to have cards. Why would he have cards? Who needs cards in Horizon? It's twenty twenty. What a progression. Come on. Um, Let's keep the shark in the hyena. We could keep the track. We could. We need, you know, what? what we could also just play something on one. But like tracking is probably the best thing you can play on one because you, you might have a chance to get your death stalker on six. So, <laughs> so he just does weapon. Yes. So, which he consistently keeps forever. Great. We should have probably played some taunts. We don't have any taunts, do we? That's what I meant, yes. We should have probably played a deck that contains taunts. He also likes smorks, like, massive. It doesn't draw fatigue at all. Good stuff. Yeah. Because I think we might run into an issue here if he just keeps hitting our yeah, face. Yeah, we're gonna run into an issue, that's true. We either have to out-aggro him. Which doesn't seem possible like this right now. Or play a deck that has taunts. Bear shark. Now he's gonna use his hero power and stuff, I guess. He can at least. Hyena is gone. Yeah, this is not really gonna work, huh? It feels pretty lost, yes. Uh alright, oh, it's two minions as well, well so that four work. four lynxes. Or two lynxes and a hero power, and then next turn we can high we can high main, but it doesn't nothing matters. Well, wasn't this like an experience where we learn yeah. something. So we have to build another deck because this one literally can win. Well, but. maybe. Um, I mean, we probably do. Yeah, this one can. There's seven, nine points of damage there. No way. Uh, that is eleven. It's very close. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let's just build build or something. So we we're gonna have to adjust here because we we gotta bring this back for the second one, but. For this one, we have a very clear strategy. Do, do you think that marks are going to be aggro enough? Uh, yeah. yeah. As is, so mm -hmm. could I just literally go with uh, the Bunch Shaman? I think so, yeah. Or should I go Face Hunter? <laughs> uh, let's go Shaman. I think Murlocs have a, the best chance of, um, of winning in five turns. We just have to find the right the right stuff. We're going to have to find a War Leader um, and the right aggro support quickly. I mean, we do have Double Bloodlust in there. Um, we have two War Leaders, as you mm -hmm. said. There's Grimscale Oracles. There is a lot of stuff that can push. And we can get a Titanic Lucky. Also, um, of course, Trash Can TV, uh, Budget Shaman, Link, Bounty an info card somewhere. Alright, uh, yeah, both Oracles mm. are definitely good. Mogul Flesh Shaper is, is the worst thing here. We can kick the Mermy. We can kick the Mermy, although I wouldn't have hated playing it on one. We need all the attack boss. I mean, the. Ooh, I'm definitely gonna play Tide yeah. on Yeah, but that's the thing, right? And, and coin something. You don't have to play the. Why coin something? For maximum stuff, so yeah, I guess. Turn after we can play, we just have to push maximum attack. He's not going to take out any of our minions. Oh, that's good. And if coin the the Tycho, well, uh, the the Oracle, and then that, the turn after we have the other one, and then we have uh, we have um, War Leader if we want it. Yeah, the turn the turn after but, we have the other one, so we could have just. But you know. he's probably not gonna gonna kill any of our minions, which is good. Seer is kind of unnecessary because they're gonna die. <laughs> and next turn, War Leader should push it. Yeah, to be fair, he does get um, he does get his destroy minion hero power after, yeah. but that should be fine. Well, um, that's still quite a bunch, and he can only kill either the war leader or the uh, fair the enough. guy. So. Yeah, he can only swing face. Like what? What in the world? But yeah, 
that was easier than anticipated. Yeah, that, that's sort of best case scenario too. Exactly what I what I expected. But. We got him. All right, let's go back to the hunter in the next one. God damn, stitches, man. What's up with that? That was that's that's weak sauce, man. You can't smoke like that. People adjust. Undertaker. Yes. Stuff, unlocking man. cards because you know that's just. Yeah. Ooh, what's this? Oh, that's fabulous. Boy, you've never seen that. Uh, deal with them, show minions. If any die, summon a slime. A slime. I remember there was uh, there was one of those uh, tavern brawls where you could play bosses, where Grobbins, I believe, was playable. Okay. I, I don't remember from anything at all. I mean, they, they, I mean, there's been a couple of those since they sometimes rotate one or two of the bosses <laughs> yeah. in or out. Um, it's probably been a while since no. he was in there. Also, is it just me or does loading take a while right now? Seems like it, yeah. That's just you know. Anyways. Uh, Robulus. It looks really weird. Uh, what even is he? Yes, uh -huh. I don't know. Ditch the hounds, everything else is really good. Hunter Curve. How good is Alley Cat, though? Alley Cat's good. I mean, why would Alley Cat not be good? Because of his hero power! Oh, so what? It deals one to everything! Uh, one drops. But he can't do it on one, and then we have a uh, hyena. I guess, yeah. Ooh, commitment, boys! Well, yeah, that does play around the hina very effectively. Yeah. It's probably why we shouldn't have done that. Do we track Kenzo? Uh, I would think so. Yes. Kenzo. Ah. Uh, well, yeah. track. <laughs> what? Yeah, I guess so. Strikes too. Um, One of the ping, ping the minions. I think <laughs> we didn't need to go. The minions that really had no need to be there, but you wanted them to be there. Yes. Those minions. Mm -hmm. if, if I'm gonna get someone to coin out their hero power on one, uh, that's an emotional win. Always. Oh yeah, because um, I guess it's campaign. campaign. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because getting them to summon two tutus on one. By coining their hero power on one. Resource game. And now we have flanking strike. Exactly, you didn't even need any resources to he summon. You coined the hero power. That's a big resource, and now we flash and we flip the board. He doesn't have a coin. Well, yeah. He. Seven. Coined his hero power on one. That's not worth coining your hero power on one. If your hero power is good, yes! No! Never, and now we have it. Now we just. Now, now, now we always have the advantage. No, we don't! Yes, we do! Look at our cards! We just cascade them in t to death, man. You can Hound Master, you can play. You can play Hoffer Hyena, whatever you want. Bear Shard, maybe. We, we 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 got all this. Misha would be best, actually. There we go. Hyena, good stuff. Yeah, we have that advantage, and he's not coming back. Now we could maybe use. Him. Um. Want to master the hyena first? That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Your power for sure, and then. Uh, just knock me shot there. Yep. That doesn't mean he summons a bunch of rubians. Yeah. But I think now just go for it. Yep. We'll just get Huffer Kill Command and just. He's glad. Well, you know, the Huffer isn't guaranteed. Oh, it's, it's close to guaranteed as it is. Uh, but anything activates Kill Command. Well, yes! Even Leok. Can you imagine? Crazy. But we're also very close to being dead. Well, we could also kill command the guy. Well, yes. I think that's companion, huh? Yeah, let's see what we can get. If we get half we can run it in. Ooh, it's Leok. Uh. No one likes Leok. <laughs> uh, I don't know. What is Leok? Oof. Leok's dead. That's what Leon did. It's still our XR. Well, Leash is not bad. I think Hymane's still now? Yeah, Hymane Hero Power. Hymane Hero Power and then next turn on Leash. Um, that being if we live next turn because 8 damage is only 4 of lethal and he did have Heroic Strike in his deck. Yes. Leper Gnome. Gross. That's the point. That is lethal, however. Oh, wait, no, 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 to one slime. Uh, Mm. Now we unleash dog. Yes, of course, but I think we're one of lethal, aren't we? Are we? I have not calculated. That hits the Belcher for sure, I think. 
We don't have seven hounds, you know that, right? Uh, yes, I know. Yes. Which case is actually two of lethal. So because this hits yeah. the bell, sure. So do we have to kill everything off, or do we just not? Just not get our stuff. Those trades we have to take, and right. then we have two of lethal. And we I got zero out of two hoffers. How does it ever happen? That's crazy. I mean, statistically, getting any two random non-duplicate animal companions was the most likely outcome. Yeah, but like, I'm here, so we should get 100% hoffer. And I think we can beat him with this deck. Though. I think we should just play this thing. Well, I mean, again. first of all, let's see what we can draw. I guess it's like the best thing right, we can yeah. do. It's not likely to win us, but um, is there anything? Like um, well, it would have been... I mean, kill the 2-1. He might just not be able to find a single point of damage somehow. Oh, right, yeah. I don't know. Uh, I mean, he should be able to trade the Lapper number. Oh, right. Yeah. But, yeah, I suppose. If he's smart. Enough. Um, so... I think we play the same deck again, though. I think yeah, um... He's if... gotta get more Hoffers. That's a, that's a boss card, right? Yeah. I think we'll, we'll try it again. I think this is doable. Yes, I that? already clicked the restart button, but apparently that just freezes the game. Great. Good stuff! We're gonna um, we're gonna do, do the thing and then get back into the game. <sighs> Good stuff. That's what we need. I hey! Thought, uh, that right, worked right. itself out. Fix this! <laughs> that... Wow. Let's get a huffer this time. Please. How about we don't play Elecan on one this time? I still like to play, but let's go whatever you want to do this time. I'm going to keep the alley cat in case right. we do draw a hyena, so we can play those two together. Sure. But I'm not just going to play it on one. Because it seems like a really bad idea. I, I, I still like it. <laughs> then let's just equip the cannon shot. Why do you like giving him two, uh, two dudes He's on one? He's coining his hero power on one. I don't care what he gets for that. That's like a really bad strategical play. And he's coining loot hoarder on one. What is, what's he doing? Like, what does he do? He's finding plays! It's, it's a terrible play! You don't coin loot horror on one! Like, that, that's that's awful! The coin is so valuable! Like, it's extremely valuable! Well, only if you use it! Yeah, but like, later! It's gonna be valuable later! This is a little awkward. Yeah, Hounds makes a little sense. But I guess just let's just play a keep away and go easy and stuff, and just go with Rex as soon as we hit him. What? This, as soon as we hit him, we... we no, 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 no the, the one before. What did you just say? Just go easy. And just hero power and nothing, nothing, probably. Yeah, that's what I was yeah. thinking, but... Swords. We can run Lynxes in there. <laughs> Lynx kill swords, boy. Or hounds. Nah. Well, you would have to use Lynxes and hounds if Lynxes you want to kill the swords. Hounds. If you want to kill the swords. If you want to do it this turn, yeah. Eh, yeah, whatever. Let's do it. I kind of almost like Deadly Shot, but it's a 50-50, which yeah, is bad. it's like 50 that kills us too. Let's just kill the swords. Go easy. Remember Candle Shot? Candle Shot was great. Yes, I do remember Candle Shot. Candle Shot was incredibly strong. Oh, right, I'm gonna need to, need to see a Hoffer. Actually, probably Misha. <laughs> I don't know. Let's just play the animal companion. Yes. Dude, who called for me? I'm trying to see if we can make any good use of it, but I think hitting the links into Luhor is still the best we can do. I guess, yeah. This is what takes the most attack off of the board. I can still track. I can still track, yeah, sure. We have our X already, but. Should have taken me to track first, but, um. Ooh, those are all oh, flanking strikes. That's a flanking strike. I like Rezamol, but uh, it depends on if you can stick a good beast. Th that card is also filthy. Like, what even is that? Well, it's a three mana. Give him any plus does, four. Does Leok like add a heroic strike to his hand or something? <laughs> Stupid. Do we want to make his board better? Yes. This is where the fun begins. Yeah. Beasts about to be built. Big time. Nine damage about to be taken, man. Ah, yeah, whatever. Nine damage is nothing. Ooh, he did the thing. Boy, taunt pieces. Yeah, and it's gonna be doubled, so. Yeah. All right, let's find like some some uh, some poison bloat that sort of thing, I guess. Noteworthy that any target for deadly shot is pretty good right now. 
Yeah. But let's first find a good thing, hopefully, and then if not, then we can still... Uh, well, no pirates. <laughs> yeah, Hashling. Yeah. That's getting a bit expensive, isn't it? Yes, the thing is we can't really play much of anything anyways yeah, this just turn, so pick we might any still pick anything. it. Yeah. I think I still like the Skitterer because then we can uh, Deadly Shot this turn, which we almost have to. And then I guess we track. Yeah. yeah. Which means we should have tracked first, but not before building, but yeah. It's Houndmaster, just for potential taunt next turn. Yes, although I do like Hyena for uh, all the Unleashed and stuff. Yeah. But yeah. Maybe we can't play this deck. Maybe it's too slow. Right, Cold Master's a bit weird there, but cool. He's got a lot of these buff cards. Maybe it's maybe it's a bit too slow. Because now we have to we have to find full board clear with Bill at least. Um. Yes, we should probably try doing that. Well, pick uh, yeah. the cheapest one. <laughs> And nothing. Let's get the penguin and, and restart this. Or do we do a different deck? Because the C, it seems like it could be too slow. Want to give it one more shot? Uh, sure, let's give it one more shot. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Does the restart always freeze the game, or was it just because the game was about to end? Let's know. find out. Live, not live. Is there anything happening? or? Well, the game is freezing again. <laughs> what? I would do that. <laughs> Boy, is it maybe small any company? Is it maybe quicker to concede and start again? I don't know. Well, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no one could have known. Okay. No, no knack support anymore. It's terrible. I'm pretty sure the research feature is um, probably still present yeah. in newer adventures as well. But hey. at least Karazhan. Yeah, but no knacks though. Like, maybe they just it doesn't work in knacks for some reason. That would be odd, though, because yes. you would assume that there's a generalized system that works the same you, you in all those so, yeah. situations. Coin Loot Hoarder? Is it going to be that time Terrible plays! He makes terrible plays! Just his cards are so strong. Um, tra Drown track. The animal companion, I think. Yeah, this deck is a bit awkward against the... Uh, his super aggro buff stuff. <laughs> Play the companion, I think. Hopefully it's Misha. What? <laughs> What's up with these solo challenges, man? <clears throat> it's supposed to always be Huffer. And Misha when you need him, but never Leon. Hey, what are we doing? <laughs> Alright, let's go flanking striker. Big time swing. Big time. That's where this card is just phenomenal. Anyone out there remember Flanking Strike? It was, it was so strong. What was that Cold Blood? What he buffed his. Ooh. What? 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 Like what is? <laughs> what are these plays? Let's track first. I was thinking the same thing. Lynxes yes. are second best. I think I'll take a Mage. Do we deadly shot or is that? Uh, too... I think that's a bit much. Let's just, just kill trade. it. Play Bear Shark. Yeah. Deadly shot is. Uh... See this stuff? What is this? Like, this is way too strong. What, what even is that? Well, that's how bosses are supposed to be. Right? Is that? No? Like, way strong? <laughs> I don't know. Alright, Deadly Shot Kill Command, I guess. Uh, Deadly Shot Kill Command links isn't quite possible, which is awkward. Deadly Shot Links works, though. Deadly Shot Links works, yes. Double Links. And that will be the play. We might have to pick up a more controlish variety of deck here. Well, I mean, pick you know, warrior or something. If you can control a little bit in the early game, how many of those does he have? I yeah, guess? like right. There's like he, he has like at least three or four of those, of these exact combos too. And on hand every time, his entire deck is probably that. Like, <laughs> why? That and uh, unleash. Uh, I mean, it kind of has to, right? Like, and then we just you know. Run those in so it doesn't die so easily, and then we just play both alley cats and just hope he doesn't hero power. And I guess he does hero power, it's also fine. Yeah, if he does, he has to kill the hyena first. Well, he had two mana. <laughs> what is this stuff? 
fuck? What is he? <laughs> Oi, okay. Let's play everything. Yeah. Kill command this, there, we go with the bear shark. Then hero power, because why not? And now is the exact, the exact precise time where we don't have Rexar. This is the exact precise time where he would have a really good time using his hero power. He might. Yeah. We have no Rexar or nothing. Well, but if we have three points of damage... I said three points of damage. <laughs> then we could have cleared. His I think board. we need to try a different deck. Yeah, I think let, this let's, work. let's go with. Let's go into the lab. Let's so go. Are control. we going more aggro or more control? More control. More control. More control yeah. Let's do like uh, control warrior sort of thing or whatever control you can muster up. The most controlless thing we can put together here. Anything? Uh, do I have a control? Like I don't think I do. No. We could go. We could try to go super aggro. Super aggro as and go back to the Morlocks? I think Odd Paladin. Oh, I do. I still have the Odd Paladin in there, yeah. Sure. Let's, let's try and go with that and see if just we can just basically just hit him. It's not mm -hmm. great with the hero power, mm -hmm. but we have to just like, like smack him big. I was about to say a lot of unhealth yeah. minions that other might than, not be the that, idea. We need to go higher on control. I think that's the only way to survive all this stuff because he's basically like, he's, uh, he's playing. It's like Mech Paladin on steroids. Like, it's basically how his deck functions. A lot of one health minions. That's not... The veteran. We can probably play the veteran on one. Try and just bait out the thing again. Sure. We could play the protector on one that doesn't die. Yeah. Use your power. Ever a better way to, to get him to drop the coin, though? Well, he does it every time anyways, right? I guess, yeah, but I mean, once a coin loot horror now, go ahead. I was about to say, we have a good trade for the loot horror as well. Yes, this is so... Does he have one or something? This is such terrible play, like... Ooze. Ooze. Okay. Do we, like, Zealot uh, Veteran, or do we hero power? I guess we, we Zealot and Veteran. Zealot Veteran trade. Yeah, but if he's smart, he's just gonna use the hero power. And oh, we, we hit I think face. we. I think yeah. That's like I think. I think our only option. I think. Nice slam. Well, this one doesn't survive. <laughs> um, he could have just hit, taken the trade, yeah. and then yeah. Anyways. Uh, just battle mage. Battle mage hero power, maybe. Yeah. Eh. Hero power seems a little wasteful. He, he, yeah, I mean, he, if he uses hero power, if he's is, smart enough to use his, then. Well, the thing power. is also he might have something else for the mana. He might. Which probably isn't better. But, yeah. um, you know, the AI and stuff. Um, I mean, try same thing, hero power lost, and hope he doesn't do it, and if he does, then we try a different... Uh, we have to experiment around with this, just see what he what he reacts how, how to. About, how about just go face hunter next time? No, just press hero power? Because, yeah, and also the one drop, uh, the one health minion's there, deal damage to his face, yeah. right? So, they we still summon for if him. It's, if it's fast enough, we, we can try. I mean, um, it seems pretty over, but... Yeah, because this doesn't we seem We start right. trading and that's not good enough. I mean, obviously we press the button here because yeah. of the hero powers, uh, he kills the stuff. Which is like the one argument for why he wouldn't hero power. This this and card yeah. is so garbage, dude. That's <laughs> such a broken card, Jesus. Well, let's try something else, we can't push through this stuff. I think you got you got to play heavy control against him. Seems like the only way. But control decks are so expensive. Oh well, yeah. You just put hey, seven hundred. I'm gonna try the face hunter. Well, let's try it. You just put seven hundred gold into uh, purchasing an Axtramus wing, so you shouldn't be complaining about expensive stuff in game. <laughs> Oh, because if you spend money on one thing, then you can never complain about something the, costing money. Not one thing, like the least necessary thing ever. <laughs> oh my god, Who I have hobbies, thereby I now have money to spend on everything. Who buys Vax Wings? It's the well, same. evidently I do. It's the same hobbies, too. <laughs> Keep track, maybe find um, the, the boys, the, the reinforcements. Face Dog is really good, I think. I like, I like Face Dog, yeah, tracking mm -hmm. was good. Um... Toxic reinforcements, the optimal one drop. To be fair, this one, is also good. this one also isn't optimized uh, for this matchup at all, nor is it wild, no. so I don't have 
Because this deck probably could just, without any other good reason, run Raxar, because, you know, yeah. might as well, but... This is just a straight up face hunter. Face and you know what? If he uses that, then yeah, it's great. Gotta be, gotta be Jones and he must be face stalker. Jesus. I'm not even a huge fan of playing face stalker to it like your opponent to a lot, but you know. If you have enforcements, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But if if not, then why not face stalker? Now we hear a pop. Do a rapid fire at face. Yeah, uh, we try. Reinforcements is good, kill commits better. Oh, by the way, I added the Spellbreaker. <laughs> yeah, why not? A lot of Taunt Dragons, a lot of Big and Druids on the, yeah. on the Prowl these days. <laughs> if, um, let's, let's get that Huffer out. Sure, let's do that. Finally! The pig! The pig made it. It's been Boring. So Boring. <laughs> the pig finally made it, man. That's that's huge. Dude, rapid shot. Uh, Just in time. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Why not? It, it's it's looking way too good. We still have a kill command for the face. Let's do it. I think you're a power face, right? You're a power face? What a kill command. More mana efficient? Just more damage? Yeah, but we can... We use less resources, right? We face hunter. Yes, exactly. We like we don't need we have kill command hero power next turn just leave her. I I try to maximize damage right and by using a card instead of not using a card we deal less damage than I think just smash damage. Well yeah but now we can push seven and then it takes us like how many turns to get it done? So, yeah let's just change this to that way. We could have thought about misdirection there but and misdirection is fun yeah, but right. um. It's even more fun when there's only one minion on your opponent's board and it has to hit his face. Yes. Uh, that being said, um, had we not had we not used uh, the kill command I think last we'll play turn, misdirection, though. we would be three damage further. In, uh, we would be two damage further than now. Uh, we do definitely play misdirection. Yes. Yeah. Um, just chop shooter and then here. Huffer can just stick around. Yes, now we're in a position if, where we're basically one. If, if anything hits Mind face. you, had we not played the kill command earlier, he would be at one now. Because he surely would never have killed a Huffer, right? Well, he didn't so far, and we have two mana left over now. He could have. Alright, it's Belcher. Hero would obviously would have been best. I, I, I don't think I've ever seen uh, a misdirection hit the hero when there was another option. But it's definitely possible, though. It should reasonably be, should yes. Be, yeah. um. Alright, dudes show up, but they don't die yet. No, so we, you... but his hero power would guarantee that they do. Uh, we play, also play Leroy. Take the 5-6 out. I guess, yeah. But he has, what, 9? Okay, if he produces one of the garbage cards from hand again, he still does it somehow. He probably does it too, but on the ooze. <laughs> what? Oh, come on. Oh, come <laughs> on. Wait. He has two of those? Two, like, at the same I time? I like how he, how he had to play one for value before he produces the lethal, so too. So stupid. So stupid. <laughs> so do we play control now? I think none of this is working. I mean, the face under was really close, right? I mean... I think we play control. I don't want to have to build a control deck, honestly. Dude, I don't... <laughs> Is there no control decks there? Jesus. I mean, one of those decks no. literally built to lose, and the not other ones really. are not really, no. Alright, let's keep going. <laughs> Just until we hit the right sequence, until he doesn't get the, the, the thing. This is an incredibly hard boss for being Nax. How do you, how do you, how would one beat this back then? With all the Rexar and then stuff shenanigans around. Um, I mean, probably also just by playing control. Like, yeah. um... Play like a control warrior, armor up every turn. Yeah, I think so. Brawl, execute. Makes sense. This is what I'm looking for. Hey. Uh, kick let's... the hounds, though. Yeah, I'm, I was thinking keep tracking, too. Tracks. too for what? Too much value. Get stuff we need. Kill command later. Half for f uh, face stalker. You gotta keep... I would rather get a card that I can use you gotta keep now tracking. rather than keep tracking hoping to get a card I can you use. gotta keep track. Dude, we, we... I disagree. No, you have to keep tracking there, man. 
That's such an easy keep. <laughs> Did you not play anything until turn three anyways? Damn, you're gonna need that. The question is, do we actually kill the ooze? I think she's hero power, right? We need to get the boys down. I mean, we do have the life drinkers to heal the damage back up. This is still garbage. What, cold block? Yeah, like it's just all, a regular card. All, all this damage buff is just stupid. Hounds? I mean, it looks pretty good, right? The, the awkward thing is that we can't hero power with it, but, um, which means we're doing this. Something. Oh, I think Leroy. I mean, we can't burn the Leroy, is the thing. Because we'll need the damage at some point. I think Lyra is better on the deck average here. And just because of the burst potential as well. He already wasted one of the Echoing Oozes, which is good. He has like five of them. Alright, now we complete the side quest. Yes. Just pff, try and go there, man. I mean, the deck is called Face Hunter after all. Mm -hmm. That's the place. There we go. That's what's up. This is such garbage. So scary. Yes, he was in fact using the cardinal effectively. I agree. That's so. That's so. <laughs> oh, I didn't what have an this? ooze to put it down, so I'll just you know. What is this card, dude? dude this is not working. We need to play control against this. This is like even worse than last time. I mean, we need to help, you know, it's just, it's obvious. You could have maybe at least smacked the guys in, I don't know. Yeah, I was thinking about it, but, um, so that was definitely a waste of that card for him, and, and we're dead. He's like, he's just too fast, we have to play something else, it's not going to work like this. Oh. Shame that all of the um, other aggro decks that are faster, like all paladin, uh, run all of the one health minions. It's not gonna happen. We need to play some. Yeah, more. we do. Can you put like a warrior together, maybe? Do you have boom? Um, I don't think so. I don't think so. Also, um, did you play like your? Did you have a control mage once in a, in some meta? I have big spell mage, yeah. Okay, put uh, that back together. Sure. Something of this of that sort. That's a really that's a really interesting type of thing that he plays. I've never seen a boss who plays so weirdly, but it's it's so strong in practice. Oh god, remind me what, what was in there. Art Artifice is going there for sure. Uh Babylon books would be possible, mm. but not by any means necessary, not any of the spells, obviously. Violet Spell is a new card, but it hasn't existed back then, but it's not that good. Cold Sorcerer doesn't really make could too much sense. Could put Archaeologist if you wanted to, you don't have to. Uh, Archaeologist... If you, no, you're no, you not, not, not playing secrets. secrets anyway, so Cold Sorcerer is straight up better, but we're not doing that either, I think. Uh, Cat doesn't make sense, although um, you could probably play it with um, the, the summoning thing, yeah. but... I don't think that's how it belongs, though. Um, Raven Familiar goes in for sure. Oh, right, yes, obviously. Skip past it like an idiot. Uh, none of those, I think, although technically Tempest is possible, but I don't think necessarily. Um, yeah, no. No. Maybe Pyromaniac. Luna for sure. Uh, yes. I mean, there will be neutral minions in there, obviously, uh, because we need to fill it up with minions anyways. Because the whole point is to not run spells that cost less than 8. Um, which means we're also... I mean, the question is, do we run Water Elemental just because it's a good card, I guess? Well, maybe, that's right? Him, sure. Um, we could put a Vex Crow too. I don't think so, because we're not going to cast a lot of spells, mm -hmm. is the thing. Um... Like, some, some that gives us spells would be a lot more practical there, because... Blizzard, Meteor, for <sighs> we don't control, really... control. All right, all right, it starts at 6 with the spells. 
obviously. Uh, Firelands is possible, Power of Creation would be possible. Let's put Flame Bob Strikes, Flame Strikes for sure, let's put Firelands too. Um, Power of Creation is possible, there's a lot of taunts that could be gotten. Oh, Animated Avalanche is probably good. Uh, well, probably not going to play a lot of Elementals, but we can try, yeah. Right, uh, and Tonight is possible, but not absolutely necessary. Power Blast is usually so Ghost of Power Blast, Dragon Caller, Frost, Frost, Frost Witch, Dragon Caller, those are like the yeah. core pieces. And then it basically just comes down to finding minions to put in there. Uh, and yeah, just fill them in with like fill them in with like Baron Geddon and that sort of stuff. Just... Oh right, Geddon. Geddon is a good one. Actually, we should probably just Ragnaros. try focusing the whole thing in. Oh, we don't have Geddon. Uh, I, I, I don't think so. That's way too short. Because of all the dragon stuff. Yeah. Uh, I'm Genlai. <laughs> yeah. uh, I mean, Genlai is actually not even that bad because you're gonna hero power yeah. a lot of the not, one health hard, minions over time. Yeah. Uh, no, it's just general. Um, I mean, you should. We should probably maybe look into making it a little elemental heavy for then like stuff like a, the avalanches. Then you could put Arcanosaur. Because um, Karas, exactly that, and then elemental. We can of course not put the spell stone, yeah. but we can put stuff like uh, the spell wing is a good control tool in the early mm -hmm. game because those spells are never in our deck. There's some more spells that we can get, you know. Um. Probably not this guy. I mean, I know the deck is going Deck's full. full. Let's just go. We could put Ice Walkers in there and drop something. Let's just go with I this. I think this makes sense. This video has been way too long already. Way too long. Because we've never played this stuff. And we and this guy is just insane for like... Yeah, I mean, we could totally split two, this into two parts too. Two like, we could standards. just end it after this boss. Yeah. And then do the rest of it in the next video I think something. that's a good idea. Let's do that. Um, because no one wants to watch. Because this. here's the thing, right? Throwback Thursday right now has a limited lifespan because there is only so much we can, only so many chapters until we catch up. That of we course. can throw back to. But it, the more we split it up, the longer the yeah. series can live. Exactly. <laughs> Which is also uh, why some of us were taking breaks for like the tournament and stuff. Alright, Gravulus, you're about to you're about to meet your maker, my dude. Let's keep the one drops. Uh, do we keep okay. Artificer even? I think so. Because you're not gonna play it until we play Big Spell, right? But and it's nice to meet you. I don't like it because I like the insurance of having it. Uh, we also probably should have run a little more draw, but it's fine. Um, no, because the thing with that is, I guess play spellwing on one. Yeah. If he does hero power, then at least we got the missiles to kind of mm -hmm. counteract that. Thank you all. New ruby and egg. Okay. Right. So as I said, we'll hero power a lot. Yeah. Uh, which means that Janelai will hopefully be active. You know who we could have put in here? Uh, damn, um, a Spiteful Summoner. Oh, uh, that actually goes in there, too. That's, that one, of the, that's one of the whole points of why you run it. That would have been pretty good. Um, that's usually actually one of the key cards of, like, why you Dude, do big spells. what is this card? How are you supposed to even answer that card? Um, <laughs> probably pre-nerf Icelands would be one of the ways to uh, deal with it. Uh, uh, well, that's the wrong lands, but sure. Um... Your power. Definitely. Pew, 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 pew. Um, Get it out what is here. the off limits? Didn't have any conditions, it was literally just deal 8, which we can use later. Deal 8 to a minion, right? Yes. About to say. Yeah, no, don't get ahead of yourself. <laughs> um. The flame strike bar to be tasty when, when we get there. I was thinking, in theory, we should probably do something crazy like. Play Toki. Yeah, yeah we, we should hopefully get rid of the eggs somehow so that we don't flame strike in giving Optimum, him a movement. Yeah. Anomalous is really good. Anomalous is I old. have one, but Ooh. he's really good. That's good stuff. Face health is the deal. So yeah, that and flame strike is mandatory, and then we have to we have to recover somehow next turn with the uh, artificer fire. Artificer like fire lens, yeah. Unless he does bullshit again though, with like heroic strike and the buff card or something. Cold blood and the buff card works. Anything in the buff card. You gotta be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. How do you beat this guy? Okay, we're gonna cut the video here, by the way, and we'll have to like come up with some strategy to to actually win right. this. Uh, we like, usually record these relatively short before we release them, which is to say, put deck suggestions in the comments yeah, below. Go ahead and do that, and uh, hopefully we'll we'll try and figure out how we. Uh, We'll be this guy next time. But uh, thank you for watching the video. Drop a like on it and uh, let us know what you think. If you want to uh, hang out, join the Discord server. Link to that in the description. We are there. The community is there. You can find us there. Uh, and talk some Hearthstone and other stuff. So hopefully we'll see you there soon. And until next time, JJ. That's it. That's it.